So Linus Torvalds once said, uh, given enough eyeballs, all bugs are shallow, right? And what we've seen in the past is that whenever there's a penetration test or whether that is internal or external, that you don't get enough or all of the bugs uncovered. Uh, the same is for functional bugs, but it also applies to security bugs. Uh, what we've seen is that whenever you leverage a large community, a very diverse community of hackers, is that you'll uncover a lot more security vulnerabilities. The reason why you should be doing hacker-powered security is when you really believe in securing your, your systems, the only way to do that uh, in, and not to spend too much money on it is uh, to leverage the hacker community and work with them. The current security space, in my opinion, is built on making yourself feel good. Uh, previously, as a customer for a lot of the security solutions out there, the intent for me was to get a paper saying that I uh, and my team built secure software. And for my enterprise customers, giving them the paper and making them feel good about myself and using my service. So it was a lot of us paying for feeling good and not necessarily actually having real security. And, uh, you know, a lot of the other crowdsource type initiatives are, uh, have shown themselves to be much more effective and I feel security is another space that uh, could really benefit from a, uh, you know, in our case, 100,000 people looking at your software rather than the four or five that you naturally hire. Hackers themselves want to help each and every company out there. We have some of the world's best hackers and as such, they want to keep everything secure, including their own data. So they play a large part in, uh, in security uh, in terms of what a hacker wants to do is they don't want to break into your systems and sell your data online. They want to figure out how you, you can better secure their, your systems. Because for the most part, a lot of the time, they even hold their own data.